Hi, I'm Abby Wade with Everyday Champagne. Welcome to my kitchen. We are making a kale salad today. It's a raw kale salad. And I know, I mean, the kale trend is like kind of over, but I don't really believe in food trends. I mean, if something's good, it's just gonna be good forever. Um, and this is a great example of that, for sure. Um, so, what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna get some raw onions sliced and put down in the bottom of the bowl. So the idea, the, the inspiration, this salad came from um, a good friend of mine, Lonnie, and then I kind of ran with it and did my own little version of it. So. so instead of doing a vinaigrette, you know, olive oil and vinegar or olive oil and citrus for the raw raw kale, um, you know, standard dressing, it's really, really cool. You're using avocado, the flesh of an avocado for the fat, and you're massaging it, hand massaging it, into the kale leaves that breaks them down a little bit and that mixed with the citrus is your dressing. Right? Right? All right, so we've got a little bit of onion in there and it's, um, oh I don't know, like, like a quarter of a cup of some thinly sliced raw onion. And then we're gonna put some citrus in there. We're gonna do some orange and some grapefruit too. But if you didn't see what I just did right there, I took the orange, cut off each end, and then I went around and shaved it and took off the peel. And then from there, what we're gonna do, let me get this little pith off. I'm gonna take all the pith off. Pith is the white. It's not because I have a lisp. Pith, it's a real word. Get all the pith off, which is the white part, and then we're gonna segment it, and just suprems if you wanna be fancy. And that goes down in the bowl. It's gonna get juicy, it's gonna get kinda messy, but that's okay, because the juice is gonna make our dressing. So you're taking your sharp knife, you're going in between each little segment, little ribs of each segment, and then plopping out a segment of orange. And then you're leaving, I'm gonna show you, what you're leaving behind is this membrane right here. All right, we've got all the segments in there, and then now I've got this big handful of membrane. It sounds kind of gross, but that's what it is. I'm gonna squeeze it, I mean carefully, really. See, and I don't wear aprons. I own them, I just don't wear them to laugh at the face of danger but all my clothes are really stained <laughs> so it's not that funny all right so orange is in there and then the grapefruit's going next the same exact thing with the grapefruit um, all right this is a pound of kale now usually I buy the kale in bulk and it's really really dirty and I wash it and then I stem it because it's really cheap I mean, it's 99 cents a pound at my grocery store um, and that's what I generally do, but sometimes when I'm in a hurry, I just buy it in the bag and they've done all the work for me. So this is already been washed. It's a whole pound of kale. This is a lot, but it's gonna, it's gonna shrink down a little bit once we massage it. Once it gets its massage, it's gonna relax. All right, so from here, I'm gonna take jewelry off. Um, all right, avocado, one, for a one pound of kale, this recipe calls for one large half avocado. Um, here's a little trick. I usually have avocado in my fridge because I bake with it sometimes and I use it in salads and we do eat a good amount of avocado because it's so healthy. But um, sometimes, you know, they'll go ripe really fast and if I can't get to them, I freeze them. Did you know you could freeze avocado? You just cut it in half and take the pit out remove it with a big spoon, remove the flesh from it, so you've got just two whole half pieces of avocado, and then put it in a zip bag, seal the air out, and it can stay frozen for a couple months. And so that's what this is. This is an avocado that I have already thought out. So here's where it gets nice and fun. Um, we're gonna season pretty liberally. This is a lot of kale. Now it's gonna wilt down, but look, that's like three good pinches of kosher salt. We can always reseason later. And sugar. I know it sounds counterintuitive because you're making a healthy salad, but you really do need some sugar with that citrus juice, and it really just helps with the flavor of the whole salad. And this is fun. I've gotten my kids to help me with this. They love it, really. It's super, it's super squishy, and it's cold, and it's kind of slimy, but in a fun way. <laughs> But all I'm doing is I'm just reaching my hands down in there and I'm massaging it. And look, you can already see that it's starting to break down. So we're giving it a good massage. Nice rub down. 
And so what I'm doing is I'm getting down to the bottom of the bowl where my citrus was. And see, I see little stems. I'm going to pick those out as I go. Uh, my citrus was down in there in my onions. And so I'm working that and I'm making my salad dressing, so to speak, with the mashed avocado and the citrus and the onion and the salt and a little bit of sugar and the kale. And that, my friends, is done. That is how you make the best raw kale salad you've ever had. It's great and it's healthy and fun. Look how much fun I had. <laughs> so that's it. That's my recipe and Lonnie's recipe for raw kale salad. And I encourage you all to go out and try it. Eat your veggies. They're good. <laughs> Thanks so much. Bye. And then you get to taste it. And I'm probably gonna get kale in my teeth, so look out for that. Will you tell me if I've got kale in my teeth? Are we good friends like that? I'm having way too much fun with this.